In April of this year, a Muncie man shared his story for the first time, saying he was physically assaulted by Muncie police officers in 2018. That man is Manny Montero. Manny spoke to WRTV Investigates in April, which is when federal prosecutors announced they had filed new charges against Muncie police in relation to his case. May 13th, 2018 is a day Manny Montero will never forget. Muncie police pulled him over for a missing headlight. Montero told WRTV Investigates what he says happened next. Uh, they told me to step out and I stepped out and I, they just started just start pummeling me. You know what I mean? Pretty much just beat me down. What's going through your mind while this is happening? Well, I just wanted to see my family. I just think about my son. I didn't understand why they were doing it at first. You know, I didn't understand what was going on. This is a photo taken of Montero's face after he was arrested for resisting law enforcement and improper headlights. Montero went to the hospital and had surgery. A bunch of facial fractures, bro broken ribs. Um, yeah, I, I really can't see too well now. So, you know, I got, they say I got PTSD. I mean, it's. It's definitely changed my life. Montero filed an excessive force lawsuit against the city and named multiple officers, including Chase Winkle, Jeremy Gibson, Corey Posey, and Sergeant Joe Krasia. Federal prosecutors announced in April they would indict those same officers on new charges. Winkle and Gibson were already awaiting a federal trial for using excessive force while making arrests in 2018 and 2019, while Sergeant Krasia was accused of writing false police reports. The new indictment includes what happened to Manny Montero and accuses Winkle and Gibson of striking Montero in the head with their knees and falsifying their reports in the Montero incident. I was scared. I, was, I thought I was going to die. We're out there going to kill me. You know. I said I've never been that scared before in my life. Man. Montero received a $250,000 settlement check this month from his excessive force lawsuit, but he says it's not enough. Yeah, I just want to see him convicted. Prosecutors dropped charges against Montero from that traffic stop in May 2018. He plans to move out of Muncie and hopes the department makes the changes necessary to prevent excessive force incidents. What do you say to people that say this only happens to bad people? Uh, I mean, I thought that too. Are you a bad guy? No, I'm not an angel by any means, but I didn't deserve what happened. and. I wasn't doing nothing, you know what I mean? I was taking my brother to the store to get a soda, that's it. You know what I mean? I don't think anybody deserved you know, to get beat up like that by the police. And Kara, you've been trying for months to get that body camera footage from Montero's arrest? Yes, Nicole, we've been fighting since 2019 to get it, but the department won't give it to us. They say this case remains a part of the internal investigation of the Muncie Merit Commission, plus it's now part of a federal indictment.